Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to read your book named The Smiths and the Swims by Julia Donaldson and Alex Sheffler. So let's start. By a labru lake on a far off planet that lived a young smid and her name was Janet. Not far away on a humpity hill that lived a young smoo by the name of Bill. Janet, I call these smeds, was red, and this is what her grandfather said. Never, never play with these smooths. They sleep in holes. They wear strange shoes. They jump about like kangaroos. Never, never play with these smooths. But Bill, like the other smooths, was blue, and these were the words of Grandmother Smoo. Never, never play with these smeds. They have strange hair upon their head. They sleep in funny things called bed. Never, never play with the smeds. The smeds on the lake like nothing better than splashing about, getting wetter and wetter. But Janet got bored with the watery, part, watery play, and early one morning she tiptoed away. The smears jumped about on the humpity hill. They bounced up and down it and never stood still. But Bill was beginning to think. This is boring. So early one morning, he set off exploring. Janet met Bill in the Vulper Wood, where the truckles grew tall, and the glumpoo smelled good. The, the two rubbed antennas and played all day long. She told him a story. He sang her a song. Then they climbed to the top of a gerberry cart and nibbled his juicy and jelly full fruit till who should disturb them but grandfather smed shaking his fist as he angrily said never never play with the smooth that's such a nasty state of blue for the hundredth time i say to you never never play with the smooth grandmother smooth was close behind and this is how she spoke her mind Never, never play with this med. That's such a dreadful shade of red. I'll say again what I've said, uh, what I've always said. Never, never play with this med. Years went by on the far off planet. Janet missed Bill and Bill missed Janet. But off they crept whenever they could to sing and play in the Vulper wood. The two of them grew and decided to wed. But what do you think the grandparents said? Never, never marry a smooth. They're a beastly bunch. They're crazy. They're a crazy crew. They drink black tea. They eat green stew. Never, never marry a smooth. Never, never marry a smooth, my dear child. Are you off your head? They drink pink milk. They eat brown bread. Never, never marry a smooth. Janet and Bill stole out that night while their family slept and the screen shone bright. They climbed into the Smed's red rocket. Grandfather Smed had forgotten to lock it. Bill pressed the button and Janet stared. When their families woke up, they both had disappeared. The Smed said, Your Bill must have stolen her Janet and taken her off a distant planet, the Smooth said. It's Janet who stole her Bill and lured him, and lured him away from the humpity hill. The smooths climbed from the rocket of blue and they said to the smeds, You had better come too. Suspicious and scowls and squalling, they soared into space till they reached planet Vumjum, a dry, dusty place. The Vums had long arms which they waved in the air, but they didn't have news of the runaway pair. The next stop was Lurdstrop covered in roses and watered by beasts with small eyes and long noses. They touched down on Glumble Snoth, coated in grime. They searched planet Glurch and found nothing but slime. One morning, the smooths found they'd run out of tea, so the smeds shared their milk, which was pink as could be. Then Grandfather Smed said, My hair needs a string and Grandmother Smoo kindly cut it for him. They landed on Squall, Sclop, where these Sclopies who 
were quit. They fell to Klabu, where the clubs walked on slits. They searched all year long, then they searched longer still, but they didn't find Janet, they didn't find Bill. Alas, said the smooth, and the smith said, Alack, we, had fail, we have failed in our quest, we had better turn our back. So they turned and flew home to their very own planet, and far down below they saw Bill and Janet. The rocket touched down and they ran to the wood where the truckles grew tall and the gloom and the glum plumes smelled good. And there in a sh- glade by the rocket of red were the runaway smooth and the runaway smed. They'd got lost and flown home again only to find that all the others had left them behind. There was joy, jam and jumping. Then Janet said, maybe you'd like to make friends with our dear little baby. A baby? Red one? A blue one, but no. A per- uh, the baby was purple from head to toe. They all hugged the smooth med, smooth med their new baby brother. It, and Grandpa and Gran even hugged one another. They laughed and they splashed and they danced with delight. And they played with the baby from morning till night. Then they made him a rattle. Then they made him a flute, then fed him the fruit of the jumber coot. Then they sang by the light of the silvery spoon that you can and you can sing too if you make up a tune. Play with the smeds and play with the smooth, play with whichever friends you choose. Then choose your uh, then close your eyes and while you snooze. Dream of the smeds and dream of the snooze. To all the children of Europe. The end. That's it for this video. If you like the story, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And share this story with your loved one. Bye!